Next part of the lecture, we're going to talk a little bit more about PDMS-based microfluidic platforms. And the first slide looks like this in your um, PDF files. And let's first start with the simplest uh, structure that we can make, which is a channel. And once we have made a channel, which you can see, this is a channel. And once we put two channels on top of each other, you have a valve. And you put three valves in series with each other, and you have a pump. Or you put two valves and you connect them differently, because a valve is a, like a transistor. You can make an entire fluidic circuit. But let's start with the valves. PDMS is a rubbery material. So if I make a fluidic ch a channel structure out of two layers, so I have one layer and I have a, ch a channel in this layer, it's my arm here, and now I have another layer underneath with a channel. Yeah. If I'm now going to pressurize this arm, it's going to, it's going to, the layer in between here is, is a rubbery layer and it's typically, typical thickness of this rubbery layer would be 20 to 50 micrometer. So if I'm going to compress this arm, this rubbery layer is going to be compressed down and I'm going to press down this, the, I'm going to cut off this arm, this channel. So by by uh, putting pressure in this arm, I'm going to press down this channel and this channel is going to be cut off. This is exactly what you can see actually in this in this picture here. You see here the two, the two uh, channels on top of each other and here you see a picture of a channel that's being pressed off. So you see the the, the pneumatic channel, the controlled pneumatic channel is horizontal here and it presses and the vertical channel here is cut off and you can nicely see where it touches the bottom here. Yeah. So now I have a valve. I put pressure, it's closed. If I release the pressure, it's open. Yeah? What I can now do is put three of those in a row and then I call that a peristaltic pump if I pump it correctly. And I'm going to try to make a sketch here on the whiteboard to explain how that works, the peristaltic pump. So I have one channel, and let's make that a horizontal channel, as in this case. This is a channel in which I want to have a flow, a fluidic flow in this direction. And I have three channels in another layer, control channels. This is channel one, this is channel two, and this is channel three. Yeah. So these are my three control channels I have to. And I will start my system with closing off. So I will consider also this area here. This area here is area A. Yeah. This is area A. And I have area A here. This is now a top view of the whole system. So this is one layer. This is the top la to layer on top. And if I look now from the top here, this is a top view. And I see I have a the, the overlap layers is an area with it uh, is an, has an area A, which is typically like, you know. 50 by 50 micrometer or 100 by 100 micrometer. Well, anyways, I start with putting a pressure here such that this one is closed. Yeah? I close this valve here. These valves are open. Yeah? So that means I have a piece of liquid here and I have a, a part of a channel liquid here in my blue channel, but they are cut off by this valve. The next thing I do, now I'm going to start my operation. So this is my starting position. The first thing I do is I close this valve. Poof! What happens is the liquid under heat, underneath here, so the area A times the height of the channel, is being pressed down. So it has pre pressed away and it can either go to the left or to the right. It can't go to the left because here my valve is closed and this liquid is incompressible. So it has to go to the right. So when I press this down, I get a liquid flow, A delta V. So a volume flow that is, so delta V equals the height times the area, height of the channel times the area of the channel. And that moves in this direction. Yeah? And let me do this. This is a delta. So the next thing I do is that I close this valve. So now all my three valves are closed. But when I close this valve here, again, this liquid volume, I press down. It can't go to the left because this is closed and this is incompressible. So it has to go to the right. So again, I have delta V equals A times H. Now I open this valve. I let it come up. So this valve opens. That means it sucks in liquid in the blue channel. The liquid cannot come from the right because it's closed, so it has to come from the right, from the left. So now I got the flow delta V, A times H here. Next step I do is I open this valve. Again, it sucks in liquid. The liquid can't come from here because here it's closed, so it has to come from here. So I suck even more liquid here. Another delta V equals A times H. 
I know the last step, what I do is that I close this one. So what happens then is that I press out liquid. It can't go to the right because he is close, it has to go to the left. So I press liquid back here, delta V equals A times H. And I open this valve. And what this does when I open this, here it will suck in liquid. It can't go from the right because this is close. It has to come. Uh, it can't come from the left because this is close. So it has to suck in the liquid from this side. So now I get a flow in this direction of delta v equals a times h. And now I'm back in my start position. Yeah, I have gone one cycle, one peristaltic cycle. But what have I done? I have moved two units to the right and one to the left. So you can say this cancels out this one. Simple here. Go two to the right and one to the left. So this one. Cancels out this one, for example. So I see in net, I have sucked in one volume unit from the left and I have pumped out one volume uh, uh, unit to the right. So I have pumped one volume unit, volume unit H times H in one such cycle. And therefore, this is a peristaltic pump. And peristaltic pumps like this ones, we know those in nature. This is how your intestines work. You know, when they process, when your food is pressed through your body before you go to the toilet, you know, it's pressed out by your intestines, by making such a bowel movement, like this one. This is peristaltic pumping. So this pumping mechanism is based on how your own body works. And there's a small video of um, such a peristaltic PDMS pump in the next video.